Welcome to the port forwarding guide for your FOSCAM IP camera. If you could please open up IP camera tools. Open up your camera. This is opening up in Google Chrome. And uh, we also want to log into the router. So one quick way is where we can go into IP camera tools, highlight the camera, right click and click on network configuration. And you'll see here the gateway uh, gateways IP address 192.168.1.1 it may be different uh, on your computer with your router but basically you're going to type in the gateways IP into your browser so I'm going to open up a new tab and that was 192.168.1.1 okay um, now it's asking me to log in uh, to the Linksys, uh, it's a Linksys router model number EA2700. Uh, the default username and password is admin admin. Now you may have a Netgear router, a Belkin router, an Airport Extreme, a two wire, you may have a different router. So uh, if you have the router's manual nearby, you can find out what the default username and password is, or you can just Google it. Uh, you can type in Netgear default username and password and be able to find it okay so this is uh, logging to your router it's a Linksys EA2700 now let's log into your camera admin password blank second login button second prompt I'm going to go to device management or Internet Explorer it's called uh, for administrator and we're going to go to basic network settings right here basic network settings and here where it says HTTP port here it's a uh, 80 um, we're going to make it a any four digit number can do uh, we usually use the, the the number we like to use is 8090 now there's nothing special about that number uh, you could have used you know 7645 uh, but this is the number we use. Now you're going to click submit and wait 30 seconds. Your camera will be panning, tilting around. So, so now on your IP camera, if you go to IP camera tools, it'll come up in 30 seconds. Uh, you won't be able to do 192.168.1.144. If I hit enter, um, it'll say like unable to see it, unable to verify it, or whatever. Uh, you're going to have to put colon 8090 now, the port number. Let's see if it came up yet. Yeah, oops, Google Chrome could not find it. See, but now here it's changed, 8090, so now it's going to work. Okay, excellent. So you put the, the port number 8090 in your camera. Now you need to log into your router and you need to find where port forwarding is. Now port forwarding um, here on the Linksys router is under applications and gaming. Um, and then you can start filling it out right here. Uh, I will be making videos on the other routers uh, but this is the, the first video. Basically it will be under uh, firewall or advanced and you can find port forwarding there. But okay, uh, here on the Linksys router, we click on application and gaming. Uh, you can see that there's other options, but we'll click on single port forwarding. And uh, we can start putting in, inputting the, the camera information. So say this was, you know, kitchen cam, or just naming it. Okay, now for external port, you're going to put the port number that you selected. We use 8090. 8090. If whatever number you put as the port number, uh, this is what you're going to put. Protocol, uh, you can actually use both, uh, but I prefer to use TCP. Now, over here, it's saying 192.168.1. And now you can put in the IP address of your camera, which is .144. 144 and then the port number is 8090 so we're going to put dot 144 okay 
and then we're just going to enable and save settings and that's it actually port forwarding is done now um, now to test port forwarding uh, you can go to you have to put in your external IP address what is my IP.com okay so let me just explain uh, if you're on the same network that your camera's on, say the camera's at home, it's installed at home. So you'll be using this IP address, internal IP address, or your home IP address. 192.168.1.144.8090. That's if your computer, your laptop, your tablet, your iPhone, your Android phone, if everybody's on the same internet connection or the same Wi-Fi that your camera's on. Okay, now if you're at, so the camera's at home. So now you're at the office or you're in another city, another state or another country and you're, you're in Google Chrome, or you're on your tablet or you're on your 3G network or you're on somebody else's Wi-Fi on your phone. What IP address do you use? You do not use this IP address. Well, you use the external IP address that uh, your router has. And you can find that out by going to whatismyip.com. So you're going to copy this, you're going to put it in your browser, and you're going to put the colon and the port number 8090, okay? Now, most of the time, because you're on the same network, um, this address won't actually work. You have to use this when you're on um, a separate network, but it has worked with uh, with other people's devices as you can see it works right here but this is the IP address you're going to be putting so say say we're we're at uh, you know you're at your house right now the camera is set up uh, port forwarding works now you go to your friend's house uh, your family's house or you're at work you'll be putting in this IP address into the browser you do not put in this this uh, uh, the IP camera tools 192.168.1 that is the internal IP address that's only for your network if you put this number in at your friend's house or at work in the address bar you won't see anything nothing's gonna come up it's gonna say error you want to put in this IP address and where we got that from was what is my IP.com you can all and here it is your IP address is you know your number will be different you can also go to uh, uh, what is my IP address what is my IP address dot com and here it is right here uh, but remember you're gonna put a colon and the port number uh, which I chose is 8090 and then you'll be able to see it uh, if you're on your phone and you're typing in this IP address your external okay but you're on the same Wi-Fi that the camera's on, uh, it may not work, okay? If you're on your 3G network and you're at your house, then it will work. If you're on the 3G network, but you put in your internal IP address, it is not going to work. So this is just, you know, it's a fundamental concept that you have to understand. If you have questions, you can always call us or email us. And that's basically the basic setup for uh, port forwarding. So we'll go over it just real quickly okay you're gonna put your port number okay so you're gonna log into your camera device management or for administrator if you're an internet explorer basic network settings right here HTTP port okay you're gonna put your four digit number you're gonna log into your router right here the gateway that's what you're gonna put in or um, you can open up your IP camera tools, right click network configuration, here's your gateway, you can find that number there as well. Right, you went to a new tab, you typed in, you typed it in, you hit enter, you put in the username and password to log into your router. Uh, on the Linksys router it's underneath application and gaming, port forwarding, uh, it would be under uh, firewall or advanced on uh, the other routers, but you can name your, your camera, you put in the port number external internal port is going to be the same what you chose protocol it can be both I prefer TCP and then the IP address of the camera 
you know, 192.168.1, and then whatever the last digits are, that is the IP address. Enable, save setting, or OK, or submit, or whatever it says on your router. And that concludes port forwarding uh, for your IP camera. Thank you.